Hi everyone, this is Overdrive. In today's video, I will be showing you how did I arrive with this picture step by step. The idea for this composition uh, came out from Instagram actually, and I wanted to show a car driving out of my current uh, desktop wallpaper. First of all, I took few pictures with my camera. Um, I took few exposures under different lightning conditions. I used uh, iPhone LED light from the top. Um, in the back, you can see the monitor uh, with my favorite wallpaper. In front of it, there is um, a box on which I put a mirror and of course the car. I like the last one the most as it looks like um, the contours are sharper and this is the one I will be using for post-processing. Unfortunately, not everything went perfect and as you can see, I left a pointer right in the middle of the picture, but uh, I will fix it later. I started with a couple of adjustments in Lightroom where I decreased uh, the temperature as well as saturation of orange and yellow to give it a more cool look and I also increased uh, the vibrance. Um, then I moved to a car uh, where I put up uh, clarity, also separately for rims and lights where I also made uh, the shadows and blacks a bit more visible and I also uh, moved up uh, on the overall sharpness of the picture. Then I moved to um, the uh, spot removal tool as I noted that there is quite some dirt uh, on the mirror and also uh, on the car itself so I wanted to get rid of it as well. When doing so I used the heal mode of the spot removal tool as it matches the texture, lightning and shading. Um, it may not always work the best but using it a few times usually gets uh, the result. In this speed video I wasn't able to go through all of the spots, but normally I would try to fix each of them. Once I was done I exported the picture to Photoshop, where I also had the uh, wallpaper prepared uh, for a replacement. I aimed to match the scale of the wallpaper with the background, um, and I also used the mask tool to better fit it uh, in the place. It of course took a few attempts, as I needed to be a bit more careful with the edges. Next, I wanted to do the same with the reflection, but I noted that the bottom is uh, a bit blurry and is less sharp, so I wanted to match that effect as well. In my case, I used the shape blur filter. I also added a gradient from the bottom, as I noted that uh, this part of the picture was originally less bright than the above. After a few additional adjustments, I wanted to add an overlay, um, so I selected the one from my library. This uh, required a few further changes to the composition, um, but basically after I finished, I was able to get back with it to uh, Lightroom again. I wasn't entirely happy with all of the uh, stamp adjustments in uh, Photoshop, so I added a few of them in uh, Lightroom. At last I wanted to restore some reds and oranges, um, add the lights, add the logo and the Lego figure. I made a few final touches to the composition and cropped it out. And yet there is the final effect, uh, you can see how much did the picture change from its uh, original state. Um, so this is it, uh, thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, maybe see you in the next one.